What's up everybody? My name is Scooter and you're watching Cooking with Scooter. And today we are going to make Scooter's pumpkin pie. So first thing you need is pumpkin. Next, you're gonna need a soda pop because everyone likes sweet pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Num, 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 num. <laughs> I like my pumpkin pie to have a little bit of crunch. So, uh, you gotta add some Cheetos in there. They have a nice texture and they tend to hold their crunch even after being baked. And then last, we gotta mix this thing up. Oh yeah, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Oh yeah, get you a good whip. I guess that explains why Grandma's pie was always so stringy. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some more fun with the 577 Tyrannosaur. Let's go get set up and get started. A gel is heavy. A few moments later. So if you have not seen it yet, this is my A-Square 577 Tyrannosaur. A-Square made a lot of rifles, but they only made 24 of this model. 12 went to Africa and the other 12 stayed here in the US and I have one of those 12. If dinosaurs were still roaming the earth, this is definitely what you'd wanna be packing around. It seemed like when we first shot this thing, nothing could stop it. Well, today I wanna to find out how much ballistic gel it would take to stop the 577 Tyrannosaur, if that's even possible. So this is an Underwood Ammo 30 out 6 150 grain round. This is it compared to a 500 Nitro Express 570 grain round. And this is the 500 Nitro compared to the 577 Tyrannosaur. That is a 750 grain round moving at 2,000 460 feet per second. In our last video, a lot of you were quick to point out that my stock had a crack in it. I really appreciate you pointing that out. I actually already knew that, but was told that it was fine. I had the rifle inspected after that video, and it turns out it was not fine. There were a lot of things wrong with the internals of this stock. The rifle has been repaired since then, and it is now rock solid and ready to go again. Let's get this ballistic gel set up and get started. But before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland and you'll receive your official certificate. And just in case you didn't know, I'm Lord Kentucky Ballistics, and you will refer to me as such. Your certificate will have your name, a crest, and a unique plot number. And with that plot number, you can see your land's exact location. Also, established titles will plant one tree for every order placed, and they support global charities such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. With this certificate, you can change your name to Lord or Lady on your credit cards, your plane tickets, or even your dating profile. So get this, Established Titles told me that the first 200 people to purchase title packs using my link in the description down below will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking. So depending on how many of you wanna be Lords and Ladies, we can start our own little Kentucky Ballistics Kingdom. First, we take over Scotland and then the world. Established Titles is an amazing last minute gift and right now they're running a massive Black Friday sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional 10% off if you use my code KYB. So swing over to Established Titles forward slash KYB or use my link in the description down below and help support the channel. Again, a big thank you to Established Titles for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. So we have five 16 inch blocks of 10% clear ballistic gel. A big thank you to Clear Ballistics for sending it over to us. This is a total of 80 inches of clear ballistic gel. Alrighty then, I have three different types of ammunition 
to shoot into these gel blocks. The first of which is a round nose, 750 grain solid. <laughs> Man, I'm cold. Well, I'm gonna need to set my table back up. Oh yeah! Okay. Well, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. Um, all of our blocks are here on the ground, and they're oh, they're awfully dirty now. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I think that might be number one. That's a pretty good hole. May need another table now. Whoa! Look at that. That is a cool wound channel. Oh, it's definitely broken now. <laughs> so judging from this, looks like it left the gel about right here. As you can see, that is a pretty gnarly wound channel. Before we keep shooting this gel, I need to tell you something really quick. Black Friday is this Friday and I'm having a huge Black Friday sale. Buy one get one half off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One dollar stickers all weekend. Limited sand, just put a thumb in it shirt, only available on Black Friday. We got Christmas sweaters. And we're bringing back the poop on everything shirts, only available on Cyber Monday. Get them while you can. Don't miss out on this huge Black Friday sale. I have so many shirts to pick from. So that last round was a round nose solid, and I had a feeling it was gonna have trouble staying straight. This next round is a 750 grain flat nose solid. I have a feeling this one's just gonna plow straight through all of them. All right, here we go. Power stance. That thing kicks so hard, and I love it. Well, that was pretty awesome. It looks like, from what I can see, it went through every single block, and it knocked the table off the cinder blocks, and it landed perfectly. I believe this is block number one. Yep, that's our first shot. There's our second shot. Look at this table is bowed down from the force. Entered the first block, was holding straight, got a little squirrely, shot over here to the left, but then maintained and went all the way out the end. 80 inches of 10% clear ballistic gel. That's a lot. So we did not catch the 750 grain round nose solid or the 750 grain flat nose solid. I have a feeling we may have a good chance at catching this one. This is a 705 grain copper hollow point. I am very excited to see the energy transfer from this round onto that gel. Woo! Also, just in case, there's a cinder block at the end. This is gonna be awesome. Here we go. Well then, <laughs> I tell you what, I love this gun. Oh yeah. Well, I thought we were gonna catch one that time, but you know what? Wrong again. <laughs> it went through every single block. I do think that it would have kind of nosedived out of the gel if it wasn't for this two by four here because it hit it and then it kind of put it back on track 
and then it went through all six blocks and then destroyed the cinder block. Also, it did me a big favor and destroyed the table for me. The sheer force of that round going through the gel, even with two by fours under it, destroyed this table. It's like the 577 Tyrannosaur was made just for me or something. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. What would you like to see me shoot next with the 577 Tyrannosaur? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.